Well, this school year has been especially tough for education. Inadequate state school funding has forced a growing number of districts to go to a four-day teaching week in hopes of saving money, and it could get worse next year. According to a survey by the Cooperative Council for Oklahoma School Administration, more than 1,000 school employees could find themselves out of a job come next fall. Even so, there's a new generation of teachers that despite such bleak news are encouraging others to follow in their footsteps. Our Courtney May attended this past week's FFA convention where students from across the state learn firsthand why their instructors teach. Rob, as you can see behind me, there's no shortage of enthusiasm from the 7,000 students gathered here at the Cox Convention Center for the 88th State FFA Convention. And hopes are to grow similar enthusiasm among these students to become ag teachers. They believe in the future of agriculture. They believe in their students, and they believe in the purpose of this jacket. They are agriculture education instructors, and they're changing the lives of students across Oklahoma. I tell my kids all the time, you know, I love you and I'm proud of you, and that's, that's, that's a true thing. You know, they have to repeat that back to me every, or in the, right before they're going in a ring, uh, before they go to a speech contest, because that's, that's it. I love you, I'm proud of you, and who's gonna rock it? You are, that's right. The relationship building with the students is huge, but you know, I think they make as much difference on me as I do them. It takes a special person to do this job, but to these special people, it doesn't even seem like work. I don't think there has been a single day uh, that it's really felt like a job. I get to come do this and I love what I'm doing and I get a paycheck at the end of the month and it's crazy. Trevor Lucas is the ag instructor at Calumet Public Schools. And before Lucas landed this job, FFA didn't exist in this rural community. So there was a lot of excitement when I got here because I'd never had FFA, but not a lot of people knew what it was. So I got to start from the bottom, uh, ground up with students who had no idea what the FFA was. You know, they thought all of them had to be, you know, from a farm or live on a farm to be an FFA. And, you know, to kind of come here and open their eyes has been really cool. Cheyenne Hood is the president of Calumet FFA, and she says Lucas three, is the perfect fit four, for their chapter. Three, one. Mr. Lucas is like the most caring man I've ever came encounter with. He like will help anyone around here, and uh, he puts us in front of everything else. His job is his most important thing. I think that's amazing, and it helps so many people around here. And I think if we would have had somebody else here that wasn't as feeling as strongly about ag as Mr. Lucas does, we would have a, uh, a successful program as we do today. And if you think this is just a man's job, think again. Women are taking the ag teaching world by storm. Females are now figuring out that yes, I can do the exact same job as well as any male ag teacher. Um, we're not scared to go out and get our hands dirty. Um, we're not scared to go walk through the mud. The female teachers that are out there now have set that example that yes, it can be done regardless if you're a first year teacher and you have no family or you're a teacher coming into the, into the ag teaching world and you've already have your family, family established, it can be done. Those places we might have to do after school type of thing. And ag teachers are more than just a teacher who lectures in front of the classroom. They're the biggest fan of the shy kid who sits in the back of the room. They're willing to inspire their students to be above average and help them find their place. They can find a place here and it's my job to put them where they can succeed. And that's the greatest part about teaching ag is being able to find those students that have no place and they can find a place here. And after long days and late nights, the same thing keeps these teachers waking up and doing it all over again tomorrow whether it be, you know, 5.15 in the morning or, you know, coming back from a speech contest at 11 at night, the energy that they bring in is, is un undescribable. And so what gets me up every morning is getting to be able to see my students. More than 350 ag teachers traveled with their students across the state to Oklahoma City for state FFA convention. Awards will be given to teachers and students for their hard work throughout the year. 
It's a celebration in Oklahoma City for agriculture education and FFA. All right, thank you so much, Courtney. You're welcome, Rob. Well, also at this year's convention, the Oklahoma FFA unveiled the results of its hunger challenge. 201 FFA chapters participated in the program that donates food and money to Oklahoma's and Regional Food Bank. Altogether, a total of 511 animals were donated up by almost 50% from last year. A total of 764,000 protein sticks will be produced from those animals, enough to supply every hungry child's backpack for two years. And for the first time, a total of $4,868.50 in cash was donated through the Sense Make Sense program, which will provide just over 24,000 meals to those who are truly in need of food on a regular basis.